Hey good people, there are three things I want you to know today about invasive species. And we're talking trees and shrubs here, obviously. So I want to talk to you about what an invasive species is, why invasive species can be specifically regional, and finally, what do you do once you learn what your invasive species in your area is? Now, an invasive species is something that is not indigenous to the region, that has a propensity to kind of overtake everything. Yes, invasive species can be diseases that get in trees and insects and animals, etc., etc. But again, remember, we're talking trees. So an invasive species is a species that is so easily propagated in an area, significantly suppressing the native trees that grow in the woods, other plants in their native setting. Now, the reason I say that it's regionally specific is because here, for example, in Utah, we have certain varieties of trees which do really well and we like to plant because they do really well. But if they were in another region, they're invasive. For example, back east, the Bradford pear is an invasive species. Varieties of Norway maple, mimosa or silk tree. I have seen comments online where people talk about don't grow them or take extreme measures to remove them. Those can be invasive in other regions, not so much here. As a matter of fact, they're hardy and they end up in people's landscapes and look beautiful. And they are not threatening the indigenous forests that we have in the mountains. And finally, what do you do when you have identified? your invasive species. Like this tree behind us, one of the invasive species here in Utah is called an Alanthus, or tree of heaven. And in this case, it is growing and pushing up against the other tree, and it should have been identified when it was a tiny little sprig and removed. You've got to treat the invasive species as though they're weeds and simply remove them, simply weed them out of your garden. So know your invasive species and take measures to keep them out of your landscape. Enjoy the trees that you've planted for the beauty that they bring to your landscape.